If you've literally just downloaded Notion and you have no idea where to start, then stay here and I'll show you around. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. In this video, I'm going to go over all of the HUD related buttons that you can push and things that you can change. So to start with, we're going to go to the top left hand corner and click on your name or your profile. What will come up is a list of all the workspaces that you're in and the opportunity to create or join another workspace. So you can see I have my personal education workspace, the workspace I'm currently in, which is the free plan, and then I'm in a Notion University workspace that is owned actually by someone else. You can see there's also an option down the bottom to get the mobile app so you can download Notion onto your phone, and then you can log out of the account that you're currently in. Then we have the quick find menu, which as you can see the shortcut for is control P. What this allows you to do is just search up anything in your current workspace and it will show you what pages and things that are related to whatever term you type in. Then we have your personalized update box, which has an inbox that shows you every single time you've been mentioned in another workspace. If you're working by yourself, it's unlikely this is going to be filled up. It will also show you all of the reminders that you may have set yourself on tasks and things like that that can be set in the calendar database view. So if you set a reminder and forget about it, this is where it will show up. Then you have the following tab, which will show you all the conversations and discussions that you are following in different workspaces. The all tab, which will show you basically everything that you've done and what you've been doing. And then you have the archive space, which is full of anything that you've archived. Next up, we have the settings and members. First you have your account, this is where you can change your personal profile, you can see everything related to your account, so your email, first name, last name, change your password to your account if you want. You can also change your calendar settings here by changing the day the week starts. Then you have the danger zone which is where you delete your account if you want to get rid of it. The notifications, you have mobile push notifications, so if you've downloaded Notion on your phone you can get notifications for reminders and things like that for tasks. Desktop notifications, email notifications work the same way. Then you have connected apps, so you can connect your Google Drive, Evernote, Trello, Asana, and your email in there as well, so if you want to transfer things over, you can connect those there. The Earn Credits tab actually allows you to earn credits, which can go towards the plan that you're currently on. You can invite friends to use the app, and what the app will do is give you a certain amount of credits, which can help you with your own personal plan. Some ways you can do that is by logging in on the web, logging in on the desktop app, logging in on the mobile app, using Evernote, I personally don't have Evernote so I can't do that, using the web clipper which is really useful when you're trying to grab information from online, whether there is an article or a YouTube video, you can use the clipper and it will automatically put it into Notion, then using the iOS or Android system share menu. Doing all of these things will give you a certain amount of credits that you can use towards your personal plan. So if you are starting on the free plan and you do all of these things, you could start using the personal plan on these credits. Then we go specifically to the workspace that you're in. So the workspace I'm currently in is me. I can change the icon of me if I wanted to. You can add a domain so you can share the workspace via email with someone else. And when you grant them access, they can work with you in that workspace. And then the allowed email domains are basically the individuals that you have allowed in this workspace. There's actually a different way to do both of these things that I'll show you later. You can also export the content. You can then export pages from the workspace. Exporting members is specific to the enterprise package. And then you have the danger zone where you can delete the entire workspace. In the members category, it basically shows you all of the people in this specific workspace, and in this case, it's just me. But if you're working in a team, a business, a group of people, all of the individual users will be listed here. And then you can create groups of people as well with those members, but again, it's just me in this workspace. The upgrade tab actually shows you all of the different packages that you can get with Notion. So you have the free package, which is what I'm using, the personal package, which is what my other account is on, and then you have the other two accounts that I personally don't have access to. As we scroll down, you can see the student and educators button. This is what I have used as I'm an academic student. I get the personal account for free because I'm a student. So if you have an academic email account, you can use that and you will get the personal plan for free, just like myself. Then you have some added security, which you can see is specific to the enterprise package. Next up is dark mode if you want to use dark mode, but you can see the shortcut there so you can flick between the two using Control shift l 
Now we're back on the main screen, what's next up is actually what's in your workspace. So you'll have a hierarchy of different pages, currently we have untitled, if I create a page inside there, we will have one page inside that untitled page. When we click on that page you can see the page there as a block, but on the sidebar you'll see all of the different hierarchies down there. Then we have the template button, so Notion is actually amazing and it has its own templates, so all of these are pre-made templates by the Notion team. If you find a template that you really like the look of or you just want to adjust in some way, you can click on that, go to the top right and use this template. What this does is it duplicates the template and puts it straight into your workspace so you can start using it then and there. If you want to import any files from anywhere else, you can do that here. And remember, you can get credits for importing your files from Evernote. And then you have your trash, which is basically everything that you've deleted or the blocks that you've deleted. So if you deleted something by accident, you can restore something or you can permanently delete it. So when you delete something by accident, it's not completely gone. You can go into the trash and it will be in there. If you're looking for trash specifically on the current page you're on, you can just move over the tab. At the bottom of this sidebar menu is actually a plus new page button, so I previously used a different page button, but you can add a page here, and this button creates a top hierarchy page, but you can click and drag that wherever you want because that is how Notion works. You can click and drag pretty much everything that you do in Notion, all of the blocks are quite easily movable. But you can click and drag that and move that around and the hierarchies will change as you click and drag them out and in. So you can see I've put that into another page. Now the hierarchy's gone down and you can see the page inside that top page. If we head towards the other side of our hub, you can see we've got a share option. You can see here that the public access is disabled, but if I wanted to make this a public page so it can be searched for in Google and will have SEO and the rest of that applicable, I can change that to enabled, but in this case I actually want to keep it private so I'm not going to touch that. If I wanted other people in this workspace I can invite a person so I can put their name in there if they're in another workspace, or I can put their email in, then I can select what privileges they get in the workspace. Alternatively you could just copy the link and then send it to someone. So by clicking that button I've now copied that into my clipboard. I'm now going to paste it into the page and you can see because we're in Notion that is just linked to that page in that page. But if you were to paste that link into an email address, they'd click on the link, it would take them to that specific page. If we look back into the corner, we can click favorite. And if we favorite any page, it will bring up another menu in that sidebar. So every page is private unless you share it. But when you favorite a page, it brings up another menu which has just the favorited pages. You can toggle the private and favorite pages on and off, but if you have a page you specifically need to get to quite frequently in the coming weeks, you can favorite a page so you don't have to go finding everything. Next to the favorited page, we have a drop bar menu. This is where you can change the text style, you can change the text size, and you can change the width of the page, whether you want it full width or narrow. You can also lock a page, so when people are in the page, whether you've shared it with someone else, you can lock it so they can't edit that specific page, maybe by mistake. You can also remove a page or add a page to favorites from here. You have that copy link option. You have an undo, but I would personally would use the shortcut, Control Z, Control Z, page history, and all of the other things that are down in this menu are options elsewhere. But the main things down the bottom of this menu are the move to. Again, I would use the shortcut. This essentially moves a page to somewhere else in the workspace. And then you have all the details about the specific page. Now that you've seen an overview of the HUD in Notion, check out this video to see how to actually get started building things. I'll see you there.